Hello and welcome to Process Improvement Japan, where each week we bring you updates on what's happening with Japan's manufacturing industry. I'm Angela Corriero. My name is Kozo Sakano. Now, today we are actually filming just as the typhoon is passing through. Um, so if you look behind us, there's a, a squall of rain, of downpour coming up, uh, happening. Uh, this is September 2nd, lots of things are happening now, um, the holiday season is over and things are really moving. That's right, since uh, yesterday, students are back to school. Back to school and the companies are back in focus. Uh, Aishin Seki, a major Toyota, com uh, Toyota Group company, is set to establish an automotive parts research and development company in China this month. Yeah, that is a second overseas uh, research and development company. Mm. Uh, they invest uh, almost two million dollars for that uh, company. Mm. Um, the focus of this company is actually to f to to look into more of the uh, auto industry in China to right. develop the, materials for them. Yeah, the objective is to meet the need for the local market. Okay which is obviously growing at a very fast rate. Right. Uh, other news from this month, Toyota starts a six day a week working schedule uh, to cope with the rising and rapid demand that's going on. Yes, uh, since June, no, July, mm -hmm. August, and actually until this month, they changed the production schedule. Uh, instead of uh, taking holidays, Saturday and Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, Saturday and Sunday mm. they uh, took Thursday and Friday off. That's right. But uh, the peak of the peak period of uh, so we should say the reason why they did that is for energy saving. Right, right. It, to save electricity. Right, and the peak period of electric uh, power consumption was over. So s this month. Uh, they are allowed to work on Thursday, over time. Okay. The reason why the peak period for electricity in Japan is over is because it's a little bit cooler. It's only, what, 34 degrees today? <laughs> it's still very hot. <laughs> but air and conditioning sticky. consumption is down. Right. Uh, now, some really exciting news. Some Toyota OBs, which means old boys, uh, meaning retired, have turned entrepreneurial they are remodeling gas-run vehicles into electric vehicles and it's actually turning into quite a big business. So, Kansa, what more details do you have? Well, first of all, OB, I thought it's a Japanese English and I actually checked the dictionaries. It's old English English. So, a long time ago in English we used to say OB for old boys? Old boys. Okay. Yes. And it's one of the <laughs> now uh, Japanese word we use commonly. Oh, really? Yes. So, uh, those uh, retired Toyota people get together and they began a new business with their expertise. Their expertise is uh, utilized to uh, create an uh, electric vehicle from a uh, gasoline run mm. vehicle. Mm. Now, you said um, experts not just um, in engineering but also in sales, so they've actually been able to create quite an organized company. Expected sales for next year about 2 billion yen, is that uh, correct? 3 to 5 billion yen within 5 years. Wow. Okay. So, uh, not only engineers but salespeople, they know many kinds of uh, markets, like a jewelry. Mm -hmm. So, they'd like to create or change the body style for a uh, user's uh, purposes. So old boys know a lot about the market. I think what we can safely say is that a lot of Japanese OBs, um, especially in the Toyota group, are so highly charged and highly motivated and energetic that they just never stop working. Yeah, in yeah. a good way. And But as they retire, I think it's excellent that these OBs have started a company because otherwise they tend to drive their wives nuts. <laughs> they just can't find things and enough things to do. Yeah, maybe. This is a good project. Anyway, in other news, Aichi Steel, a Toyota company, has developed a liquid fertilizer in collaboration with Sakara Steel Corporation. So, Kurosan, what's the connection between a steel company and a seed company? Well, originally they had a, a business, uh, a 
I guess Sakata bought uh, something from uh, Ike Steel. And they found some product that is composed of uh, calcium and magnesium. And they, f uh, they focused on that uh, composition element. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they thought uh, it would be great to uh, collaborate for the new kind of fertilizer that uh, vitalized the uh, the growth of uh, plants and vegetables. With iron content? With iron content, such as uh, uh, magnesium, iron, and zinc, and so forth. And uh, that actually absorb iron content smoothly. And that is needed, that is uh, required for the uh, photosynthesis. Mm. Interesting. Uh, in other news, uh, this week, uh, Al Nippon Airways, now Japan's largest airline, considering JAL is recovering from bankruptcy, is also establishing a low-cost carrier named Air Asia Japan. Mm -hmm. In um, perhaps in response to, as we reported last week, that JAL, along with venture um, venture partners Mitsubishi and Qantas, are starting a low-cost carrier for themselves. Mm -hmm. But actually, they are, they are not only to stay competitive, but they'd like to create a new demand. You mean increase travel? Increase the... Uh, the yeah, that's right. Am among Japanese going among abroad? The, uh, I guess overseas, in all the areas. Mm -hmm. okay. And their target price is uh, about one-third of the present price. What? Are you serious? Yeah, yes. Yeah, they are targeting. A 30% of regular... 30% off or 30% no, no, no. of the refer? Thir no. 70% discount. Right, right, right. From regular fair yeah, price. Yeah, 30%. That's crazy. Of the original price. Wow. We'll be going to Okinawa for Christmas. <laughs> and that starts next, uh, next year. Ah, okay. So right. we're going to Okinawa next Christmas. Hmm. Um, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. For more information, please log on to our website, www.processimprovementjapan.com. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.